fight, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by Nito. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes there is nothing in pro sports quite like a ufc heavyweight championship fight that is a reality you've been there you've done that baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight yeah the champ walks again and he wears that proudly johnny wants to be called the champ he loves to be called the baddest man on the planet he is so skilled, he's so dangerous, he's so scary. And he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued. And we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the great. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Ben. Herb Dean, our referee Ready for this fight. one. Ready. Yeah. All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Let's see which man exits as the consensus baddest man on the planet. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand to make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Yep, and he's got him secured in the half guard now. Oh, right into Mo. Big right hook there by the champ. Massive shot from the top. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Trying to pass here, Uba gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Beautiful reversal on the ground. Push him off! Push him off! There it is. Now he's running him out. He's got to be careful here. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. And now he's got the bat. Nice transition. He's got a plan on the bat. The ground strikes starting to pile up. Nice. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. 
Kick the ball here. Big ground and pound. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good grappling match, but these fighters came to see them. Yeah, the fans came to see them knock each other out, and that's what they're going to get. All the grappling was beautiful to watch, John, but ultimately, it is the striking that people show up for. Doing a real nice job with these leg kicks, trying to slow his opponent down, and largely succeeded. Single leg takedown. Nice entry on that attempt. Back to the stand up now. Both fighters upright. Oh my God. You go here. How about the speed with which he is able to just toss his opponent to the mat? The moment they came close, he knows. I got a fire in my hip. Load you up and throw you. That's exactly what he did. Takedown defense is there. Good exchange there inside. That's a great game. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, oh, bad. oh uppercut. Wow, what a fight! So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Gotta capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like, so when you get a guy hurt, you gotta fight with him. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take too many of those uppercuts. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jump. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice job getting the guard up to block that one. Clipped him with the right hand there. Cut above the eye here. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, you're talking about mixing the martial arts. Perfect strategy here. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. Gotta be careful here. Final seconds here. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his ah. opponent. Round two straight ah. ahead. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. You see the Great cut work. just One above the eye from that round. So this the cut round. man's got to get in here, close that thing up. up. You don't want it becoming an issue here into this next round. I want to see you work that. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. Clean left punch followed by the right. Got that single collar tie. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. Oh, right and just misses with that big right hand. Keep moving forward. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. with conviction. Oh, nice. Oh, looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. Here's the attempt. There's that head kick. Oh, timely hook. Looking a 
to land the right just out of range. Unable to land with that punch. The right hand is going over the top. All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that, that, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got oh, big knee! Good punch. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He is a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Real nice body kick lands. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stung by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots. Oh! That right eye's looking pretty swollen. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Oh, brutal knee to the body. an exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, he can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now. But he's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. 45 seconds remain in the rounds. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here, DC. That could be pretty useful when it comes to the scorecards, potentially. Very useful when it comes to the scorecards, but also a testament to his conditioning and his cardio to still be throwing takedown attempts at the end of rounds instead of winning fresh. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape. Or right. maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, back to the stools we go. Right, and that is a really severe cut. So Relax. we will monitor him between Slow rounds down. as they it's furiously okay. get the he cut man in there. All right, it's so the round strange. is over and the cut on the bridge of his nose continuing to be a factor. You thought maybe it was getting better, not so much. Blood trickling down and... When the blood starts to trickle down into the mouth and upset the breathing pattern, that's when it starts to really become a factor. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cup. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's gonna find himself in trouble. Well, most of you remember exactly when this cut happened, and now it is getting really... Oh! Oh, my goodness! Oh, my goodness! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with...
with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 18 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Big. So the celebration is on, and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that tonight is the crowning achievement of his mixed martial arts career, knocks out the number one contender with style points to retain his...